Welcome to the Mac user group channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Homebrew on your M1 Mac. Those of you who don't know what Homebrew is, Homebrew is the missing package manager. It allows you to install a bunch of tools on the command line that you can use for various activities from programming to day-to-day -day tasks with file image manipulations to many many things is uh, the number of things you can do with command line tools is endless and homebrew makes it easy to install those command line tools for example there is application called wget which allows you to fetch uh, a file from a website links links are uh, two command line browsers sometimes they're very important in development and other use use cases are there uh, YouTube DL is a YouTube uh, music and uh, video download tool which allows you to extract music from YouTube and also video files so you can get your own copy locally which is a great tool I use it I'm going to make a video for that specific tool later AG is the silver searcher makes it very easy to find files on your on your system there are many applications uh, that mostly programmers use but I highly recommend that a power user have access to this tool so it's very important to know how to use uh, how to use homebrew to get these tools installed without you know individually many handling the tools themselves the most popular one is node which is the node.js uh, platform for developing backend JavaScripts git is the repository tool for accessing the github um, Postgres SQL is the database Python is the language so you can see the list these are the top downloads or installs through using uh, homebrew um, I like many of them and I, I will make video about many of them in, in, in the future in this channel so for your for your M1 there's two ways of installing homebrew homebrew right support for M1 right now is experimental it's not production grade so I would recommend that you install the Intel version of homebrew and also install the M1 version of homebrew so that you have two different versions uh, in the same system until M1 version becomes uh, production ready so to do that you will need the terminal program and I use the iTerm 2 which is a free download and if you don't have it um, I'll include the link below in the description so you can you can download it it's pretty simple and iterm2 is what I'm going to use for both of these things and what I'm going to do additionally is I'm going to set up iterm to um, a copy of iterm to run Intel in Intel mode which is the uh, Rosetta Stone based translation mode and that will that will allow me to access the full homebrew all the homebrew de by default will work homebrew you know would work properly and whereas I'm going to install, I'm going to make a copy of the um, iTerm and tell it to run in, in the native mode. And actually, that's the default. And that'll be the M1 version. So let's get started. Just like I said, first is I'm going to make a copy of the iTerm application and set it, set one up for the Intel architecture, and set the default will remain in the M1 architecture. So first go to the application folder find your um, iterm duplicate it which is simply like making a copy and for uh, go back to the original one and pr press command i to look at the details and make sure it is opening it is not opening with rosata so this is the default one this means this iterm will open in m1 but it, it's going to it's going to use the M1 architecture, so that's the default for the binary. Now I'm going to the copy. I'm going to tell it to open using Rosetta, right there. Now it's going to use the Intel architecture, so which is the simulated architecture, emulated architecture. So this will be the Intel architecture. So I'm going to type that in, so that I have two of them. Now, if any time I open iTerm, the d I have two choices: Intel or this. So I'm going to open the default one. And if I type in ARC, you can see that's ARM64. Now let's open the Intel one. And you can see it takes a little bit of time because it's not the native version. Now if I type in ARC, see that Intel i386 architecture. So we have two, 
two of them parallelly available and now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go with uh, the Intel one first so closing that one and we need to go to homebrew website copy the command that they t tell you to run to install and I pasted it Added my password and installing it. It takes a little bit of time, so I'm going to pause the video and show you at the very end. So it looks like Homebrew is installed. This is the Intel edition, just making sure. And so everything is good. Now, if we type in brew help, uh, we'll be able to get some help. So now for the M1 version of Homebrew, let's make sure our uh, terminal is M1, which is ARM64. Now I'm going to paste that same command that we copied from the Brew home Homebrew website. And you can see that it is going to install in the optional OPT Homebrew directory, which is good. Return. Alright, looks like the M1 version of Homebrew is installed. Let's try Brew Help. And there it is. Again, the architecture is M1. So we're done. We have just installed Homebrew for the Intel version and the M1 version. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.